Uh, today we're going to be doing a work which is sculptural, which means um, 3D rather than 2D, so no painting or drawing, um, but something that you can um, feel all the way around. Now, um, this is actually based on the, uh, and I hope I'm saying it cor correctly, Chianpi Desert Weavers, spelled T-G-A-N, T-J, sorry, A-N-P-I, Desert Weavers. Um, and as you can see, uh, they've created these wonderful birds and people. Here you've also got maybe like a cat, another bird, there's another bird there, and it looks like maybe a camel. Um, and uh, these artists have used, um, I would say, some form of grass um, that they find uh, around their community, and obviously feathers and some uh, string and thread and all sorts of things. Now what we're going to do is um, something similar but we're going to instead of using grasses uh, we're going to use um, newspaper as the initial body um, shape. Okay so um, what you need is newspaper and then you need to go and find um, all sorts of uh, string, wool, anything decorative, bits of fabric. You can even use uh, kitchen twine and if you want to make it colourful you can actually paint it, just let it dry and then start wrapping. Um, I've just gone through all my old bags of different um, fabrics um, and you can even use things like this which you know a lot of people throw away. Um, you can use it as an interesting uh, mesh and you can probably sew through it if you wanted to as well. Uh, so just have a look um, or you also need tape. Now, um, if you don't have anything lying around the house, I actually find a lot of um, offcuts and wool um, uh, in op shops uh, and it's really, really cheap. You can also maybe think about using elastic bands um, to, to keep all mine when they come with all the different shopping things, which, yeah, you end up having quite a collection. All right, so what you do is you start by getting some newspaper. Now, you want quite um, a couple of pages or three even to get a good kind of feeling. I'm going to do a smaller version. You can do a bigger version. But what I would also recommend is that you try to do the body in one piece. So I'm going to do um, a bird shape similar to this with the wings going across. Maybe not the feet. Or maybe you can get some wire and do some feet if you like. Um, I'm just going to do mine a little bit simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to first... Just sort of roll my paper longways, just to get a feeling of a long shape. And then this part, the top part, is going to be my neck. And then I'm going to have the body and maybe a tail. So, so it's you're kind of getting an idea of how you're going to construct this. And yeah, I find that if you have the body and the neck's neck all in one piece, then it's better than trying to stick it all together. Now, obviously, you can bulk up certain parts if you want. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to actually sort of section bits off with my tape so it holds the newspaper down. Now you don't need copious amounts of tape, you just need some to hold it down. Because obviously when you start, so there's my body and I'm going to have a fanny tail. You don't need copious amounts because obviously when you start um, wrapping the fabric and the wool bits around, um, it holds... Put. All right, get some more tape. Uh, that is going to be my head and beak here. Does that look right? Hang on, neck. Yeah, I can make it up as I go. Maybe I'll flatten the beak a little bit more. Now you obviously don't do not have to do a bird. You can do a cat, you can do all sorts of things. I'm going to get some more newspaper. And I'm going to just fatten the body up a little bit.
All right. It's looking a bit funny, but it will make sense. You can also maybe make the head a little bit bigger too. I might actually do that with fabric itself. All right. So now what you do, if you're worried about coverage in the terms of how many times you're going to have to run the rope around or the string around so you don't cover, so you don't see the newspaper anymore, what you can do is you can get some fabric like so and have that holding um, down on the actual, so you hold that and then you start wrapping it around. Okay, so then that way it, cover, it gives you a bit of cover. So I'm going to start wrapping that around. Now what I found is that if you actually hold your um, string down there and you can cut a bit or you can have your whole, whole bit and you start wrapping it on top of it, it'll just hold itself. Now this is a bit awkward with my long neck so I might actually just cut some off. Okay, and I'm going to hold the end bit so it doesn't have to go all the way around. There we go. All right, so you can start to see the picture of how you can wrap and make an interesting um, colour. All right, I'm going to stick that in like that. Holds that like that, and you just keep on going and going and going. Now here, I'm going to actually use a bit of stuffing that I found to make the head a little bit thicker as well. And I'm going to put some... Do I have any bright? Should I have a purple head? Purple head. All right. This is something I was making earlier, as, I, as you can see. I'll chop that. Stuffing inside. Ah. I think I need some more fabric. And then I'm going to get, I think I'll just use twine this time. You don't actually even need that much. Like so. I'm going to get another piece of fabric. That under. All right. So, head looks like it's got a long beak. You might even, if you want, you can actually um, move the the paper so it, and then start twisting around. So you've actually got a bit of a shape. So I might decide that I want my shape to be more like so. But I'm, I'm just going to continue and I might decide actually also that the beak is going to be smaller so you can chop like that and then of course I can here um, create a maybe a button or something like for the eye
the back. Something that's important is that when you want to attach things like legs or wings, um, it's probably best that you don't uh, you do it first and then wrap um, rather than wrap the whole body and try to stick it on top. So um, what I did here is I got newspaper again, folded it in half, rolled it up. This is going to be the wings. And I thought, well, um, if they're just long, then it'll look a bit funny or won't have the feathers coming out. So then I sort of just ripped these bits so they've got a bit of a shape. This is kind of trial and error. You've got to figure out like how things are going to work. Um, and yes, then you've got to get your tape and stick that all on. So I'm actually going to hold that first with the tape. Like so. Stick that on like that. This will all get hidden. Obviously once you start wrapping. It's amazing how it transforms. wrapping away. <clears throat> I ended up putting some eyes that I found um, which are just old buttons and stuck them on with some PVA glue um, and I just kept on going and going and wrapping all his body and even put some nice kind of frilly string on here as well um, until it was all covered. Uh, you can also see that I've got the wings on here and you could probably put if you wanted to some um, feet as well. And maybe ended up having another, another little person on top. Here I've got um, that division of newspapers which I've wrapped up and I actually left the uh, fabric coming off the end so it just sort of looked like maybe some feathers. Uh, you could go on on with this. Um, it's a fun, fun project and of course you can make any animal that you like. <laughs> 